Moon here from Warrior Songs. I'm in Cambodia and I'm working with Children's Library International. We've come across one of the libraries they built in Cambodia where the proprietor um, just left. And so it's kind of in disrepair and they want to raise $10,000 to uh to revent renovate it and uh, so i'm going to show you a little bit about this because i'm thinking maybe warrior songs might be able to take on that task so this is the library you can see the books kind of in disarray um and there's some structural that's their computer there's room upstairs for a classroom um I'll show you over here. I'm not going to go up there, but there's room upstairs for a classroom. It's got some structural things that need to be finished. This is to make a firm overhead. Um, and uh, right now they are $10,000 short from fixing this. It was built, I think, 10 years ago. Classroom. And the teacher who was supposed to be teaching apparently... They paid for his English teaching, and then he um, and he just ran off, disappeared one day, or had grew disinterested. There's the water closets. These are the bathrooms. Tell those need some work. And these cisterns for water. And the kids could make a garden back here, grow their own food. They could dry lawn um, laundry. And so um, that's going to be our goal. What do you say, guys? I think we could. Um, I think we could raise. I think it was 8,000. They need 10,000. They already got two of that. So I think we could raise $8,000 in a year and officially have Warrior Songs sponsoring a library in Cambodia uh, where young children can learn English and grow to be better people. Because here's the keyboard for that computer you saw in there. So, you know, Jason Moon, you see an obstacle, overcome it. I'll put it together and we'll talk about it maybe after the CD is fundraised. Maybe the Vietnam veterans who, uh, who helped me with the CD would be interested in creating this, this effort and then maybe sustaining this, the library. It's a library, but it will also be a school for teaching English and uh, hopefully have some computers and some internet. Um, yesterday, I was in Phen, Phen, well, a town in Cambodia and, and uh, out inside of our front of our hotel was just littered with sex workers and it made me think these libraries might provide education so that uh, young people wouldn't have to do that so give them some options Oop. and I don't want to get bit by a cobra because I'm walking in the grass so you can tell it needs some work but it's a structural building it's structurally sound uh, $10,000 worth of work and this be up and running. So I'm going to talk to you more about it later.